hello guys welcome back to the show in today's video i just want to show you guys how to make a fetch request to a flash server and how to basically render that data that you get from the server using react typescript how do you pass the data as a prop to a component to a child component using react typescript this can be a little bit tricky um, this is why I want to take the time to talk about it and to show you how to do it. So I just have a simple application, Flux application. And then as you can see from here, I've created a file called api.py, which contains a list of stuff, a list of data that I would like to get using the React application so that I can render on the front end. And if you watch my tutorial on how to connect Flux backend with React JS front end, you know that for the react application you need to create a proxy so inside of the react application as you can see over here i've got a proxy to the flux server it's saying that um, when i make a fetch request using the front end um, use this url as a proxy so going back to the flux api um, i just have like a main function um, which is a main root uh, let me get rid of this because it's not needed so i just have one root called slash api and when I make a request to this slash API, what I have next is that I convert um, this data over here. Um, this data, whatever you see over here, I convert that to a JSON using the JSON on dumped and I return that. Okay. So if I start the Flux server right now, let me show you guys. Python run.py and I make a request to the slash API endpoint. So as you can see, this is what I get when I make a request to that endpoint. I get this list and the list contains dictionary and some stuff in it. We don't care about this right now. We just care about how to basically make a request from the React TypeScript application, the front end, and how to basically pass this data to a child component as a prop. So we can go back to the front end and see how this is implemented. There isn't much going on at the back end. So I can close this right now and I can close this because I don't really need it. In the source directory, I've created another directory called component. The component contains a card directory and inside of the card, I've got like a card.tsx file, which is currently empty. I've just imported react. I've got a pages directory which contains a food directory and a food.tx file which currently contains some imported APIs from React. So I have use state, use effect and the card component. Let's go to the card component for now. And inside of the card component, what we're going to do now is to just create a little application that, you know, that returns hello for now. And then we will go on to make it much better. So I've gone on to create this component called card which is of type react.function component. It takes in nothing as a prop for now. And all I need to now say is that it returns, let's say hello world. So let's put on hello world over here because we will change it very soon. Okay. So it returns hello world for now. This has been imp already been imported over here. So I'll go on and create a food component which will render this card okay so all i've done right now is to create a food page component which returns card which is the card that we have over here so we know that it will return hello world okay now i can go into the app the txt file and i've already got the food page um, over here so that is that let's go to the front end let's see if everything is working as we expect it to work before we add more features to it and make it more complicated. What I'm going to do is cd into my app, which is the React application, and then do yarn start. Okay, as you can see, it says hello world. So we know that everything is working. We can add some more stuff to it and make it a bit complicated. Okay, now let's go back to the application. Inside of the food page component, what we need to do is to create a bit of state, right? We need to have something that will manage the state and something that will make a request to the Flux server so that we can get the data that we would like to we would like to use on the front end. So I can create something like an interface, right? Because with TypeScript, you need to tell the component what type of data you're expecting to get. This is what makes TypeScript a bit complicated if you don't really understand what you're doing, okay? So I'll create an interface called food api and as we saw right it has an id it has a name it has an image and it has got something called ingredients so i can go in here and i'll say id is number name 
has to be string image has to be string as well and ingredient has to be a string array i need to make a request i need to find a way to make a request and we can use use effect to make this request so i'll go ahead and say use effect it takes in a function what i would like use effect to do is to fetch right so i can say fetch i want it to fetch from the slash api endpoint when you fetch you're going to get a reply so that then response i want it to return rest.json and then what I would like to do is to set the state, right? I haven't created state yet, but I need to set the state to the response that I get. But let's take it one step at a time so, to make sure that everything is working. So I'll say response, let's consider log response for now. Function, like so. Let's see if everything is working as we expect it to. So let's go back to the front end. Okay, we still have hello, it's working. You can see it's not working as, as we thought it would be. That's why we need to take everything one step at a time. Let's go and check what we did wrong so that we can correct it. Okay, so as you can see, it was response, but what I want is response, like so. Okay, I want this response, okay? Now let's go back and see if we get the data. We have the data that we want. We've got um, a list of stuff in here so what now what we can do is to set this data into our current state and then use it um, on the card component let's go back so i'll create something that will hold the state i'll call it data and then set data okay and this will be use state i like saw so. and the type will be an array of this interface an array of this type okay so i would say food api ray and initially it is empty and what i can now say is that i would like to set the state so set data i would like to set the data to um to data like so for simplicity what i'm going to do is that i'm going to extract instead of the api i'll ignore this key okay and what i'm going to do is just to extract this array just for simplicity so that you can understand what we're doing so i'll go ahead and say that the data that i would like you to get the data that i get from the flag server what i want is the first um, element um, dot ghana like so okay so i think i made a mistake so this has to be a response i want the first element dot gh so first element dot ghana now the next thing i need to do is to pass this state whatever i get over here i need to pass this data to the card component okay so what i can say is i can call it food and i can set food to data like so and now you can see that i'll get an error i'm getting no an error because you know the card component is not expecting a prop it's not expecting this food prop okay this is where it gets tricky this is the main purpose of this tutorial is to show you how to pass data that you get from an api to a child component so let's go back to the application instead of the card component okay so as you can see it is making a lot of requests that is because i forgot to pass this over here so that should stop it now that this has been sorted i need to go back to the card and i need to create an interface and tell the card component what to expect okay what data to expect as a prop so instead of the card component what i can say is type card prop like so then i can create a food and this food over here is the name of the prop okay so this food over here so i've created an interface okay and that interface i'm saying that okay the interface is the prop so in your head imagine that the interface is the prop or the props that this component will accept and one of the comp one of the prop is food prop okay and i'm saying that the food prop looks something like this it is an object of a race okay so i can say that because as you can see this is an object okay an object a javascript object and it's contained in an array okay so I'm expecting an, an object of an array, an array of objects, basically. 
and it has an ID, it has a name, and then it has ingredients, which is a string. So now I can pass this to the components. So I can say card props, and then I can extract the food. So I can extract this from this props because as you know, props is an object of stuff. Okay, and I'm extracting the food from that object. To check that everything is working, what I can say is consider log, consider log food. So if we go back to application, ooh, something is not right. Okay, let's find out what is going on. Okay, so this has to be like so. So as you can see from the arrow, it says that this is missing, right? Um, ingredients is missing from the type. So I spelled something wrongly, so I can correct that and everything will work eventually. So if I go here and then ingredients, so, okay. So now everything is working. I spelled something wrongly. That's why you need to always check your stuff to make sure that everything is right. So now we know that everything is working. So right now what I can do is basically look through and then get all the data that I want. So I can do something really quick. I can say that um, food.length is greater than zero. I want you to look through everything. I call this data. I like you to return. Let's say I've got a div here. Div will have a key. So I'll say key will be the data.key.id because I've got an ID here. Okay. Then I've got p tag that you have data dot name. Everything is working. So if you've got Bayere, Nebody MPC, Nin Tosabumu, and one more watch. So these are names of food, Ghanaian food. Okay. So I do have the names now. I can go on and then render the ingredients used to make this food. So I can come over here. I want to map data dot ingredients. I'll call this um, IG. And then what I will say is the IG over here, like so. Okay, so as you can see, we've got Byron, Brodian, Pissier, Ninto, Sabomo. These are the ingredients used to make the food. Fufuning and cutting quai. The ingredients used to make Fufuning and quai. Forget about this for now because I'm not using, I'm not giving this like a key. So React is complaining, but we can ignore this for now. That's not needed. So basically that's how you make a request to a server and then pass the data as a prop to a child component using React TypeScript. So the key thing to take is that when passing the prop, you need to have a prop. Okay. So the type is called card prop. And imagine in your head that a card prop is basically a prop. It's basically an object. And inside of that object, we have the objects or the list of props that the child component can take. As I've defined over here, it takes in card props. And inside of the card props, I can extract the food prop from it, which is a list or an array of food, which has got these elements. And you can see inside of the API that this is an object of that type. So ID, name, image, ingredients. I hope this makes much more sense but that is what i wanted to show you thank you for watching and i'll see you next time